Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous video, we covered some basic NPM scripts to make running Webpack easy right from our local development environment. In this video, we're gonna be writing our first Webpack configuration, and I promise you, it's not as scary as you might've heard. As always, we're gonna be starting from a starter repository, and this is on GitHub, and I'll put the link in the description below. So let's get going. So if you look at the disk directory, we have a main.js. And let's say, for the sake of this example, that we want to change the name of the output file from main.js to index.js, because to me, that's just what an entry file should be, index.js. So let's get started. In order to do this, we're going to have to create a Webpack configuration file. These live at the root of your project. So we'll make a new file at the root called webpack.config.js. This is the default configuration file name, and Webpack will detect this automatically. Now, all a configuration file is, is a module that exports a configuration object. So we're gonna define config as an object, and then export it here. And now we can just fill in this configuration object with whatever properties, and Webpack will pick this up. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is we need to define an entry point where our bundler is going to start crawling the tree of dependencies. And this property is called entry. This is a relative path to the config file. So in our case, it is the source directory index.js. That's where our application starts, so to say. And then as we're bundling, we need a place to output the new bundle. And so Webpack has a property called output. It's an object and it's got a couple properties inside of there. But the first thing we're going to do is give it a path. This is where we want this to be output. And this has to be absolute. So we're going to go ahead and lean on the path module in node. So we'll import it here or require it rather. And then we'll call a path.resolve on the current directory and then dist. So this says resolve the absolute path to the dist directory. And that's where we want our bundle to be output. And finally, this is where we get to what we were looking for, a file name. This is what do you want to call the main bundle that you produce? And instead of main.js, which is the default, as you can see in our dist directory now, Let's change it to index.js. So let's go ahead and see if this works. In the last video, we made a build script. So we're gonna run that build script with npm run build. As I run this, you'll look and see that the disk directory is still there and it does have our new index.js. However, main.js is still there. That's because Webpack by default doesn't clean the dist directory when you build. So let's add the clean option inside of output and set that to true, which will tell Webpack to delete the output directory specified at path here while building. So we'll rebuild again and you'll watch the dist directory is deleted and rebuilt and now only contains our index. So let's see if this works. In order to work properly, our index.html is pointing at dist slash main.js, and that doesn't exist anymore. So let's update that to be dist slash index.js. And we'll go ahead and run our start command, which will build and serve our application. And refresh, and here we go, we have Hey world. If we check our network tab, indeed it is asking for dist slash index.js and everything is working. So we accomplished our goal. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how to get a dev server up and running that actually refreshes when you make changes to your code. We'll cover that in the next video. See you there.